You want cutouts open or closed? Open. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo Channel. Welcome to another beautiful day in the sunny state of California. Uh, my name's Ivan. This right here is Smoke, my E300 turbo diesel from the year of 1998. And this car, uh, well, it's in tractor mode right now. It does need to go a bit lower. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to install Vokland uh, lowering springs on this car and those springs have been slightly modified like half a coil has been cut so it goes even lower than that we are getting these coils from a another w enthusiast uh, named Kyle Jaworski uh, I'm probably butchering your name Kyle but I will and let's install the lowering springs and then I, uh, what do you think we should do afterwards uh, I think shocks but maybe wheels Do you even pre-glow, bro? And so we arrived and something, you know, you can see my diesel, but there is a lot more nicer cars, let's say, here. And this is one of them, the E55 with these. What kind of wheels are those? OZMAE. OZMAE. Three-piece. Three-piece? Two-piece. Two-piece. Two-piece wheels. Uh, a... M113 K swapped. This is the 113, not the K. Yeah, okay, so M113 so, swapped. Same as this one. Awesome. Uh, wagon and 300T wagon. And something kind of special. What kind of Audi is this? Uh, Audi Quattro. Audi Quattro. Audi That's the rally car, right? Yeah. yeah awesome. 80, 83. But let's not forget what we're here for. We gotta install this Vauxhall lowering springs on the old turbo diesel and if you guys uh, hit the thumbs up and this video gets to 500 likes we can uh, make a video with the M113 swapped manual wagon maybe okay. but here they are slightly modified well let's face it cut Vauxhall springs that are gonna go on the diesel excited about this quattro though like the OG rally car okay, so let's put these over in the diesel doing somewhat of a progress the car is up in the air and we're ready to start taking the whatchamacallit wheels we need to do something about these wheels so here is me being useless watching the pro work um, this is Kyle, by the way. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram. Uh, it's gonna be right here on the screen and in the description if you wanna follow him and his speed, which is impressive. But I am kinda useless, so I'm following him around with the camera and watching him do his magic. Yeah, and with suspension, the springs are not easy and you need a special compressor for those. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing, like I don't, uh, you probably hurt yourself, so get somebody else to install them for you. And number one is in, nice beautiful purple. This is the old one, and this is the new one. And just to show you what the difference is, it is this much. So the car should be about this much lower but we'll see it in a little bit because this is not completely accurate when they're on the car would be a lot easier to see and I should have probably measured before and after but it's me we're talking about
And so, just so I feel a little bit of useful in this situation, I removed these uh, little plastic covers and the one from the other side over there. All you need is a 10 millimeter for the covers, the control arms, and the one over there. Uh, just so I can say I did something and I'm dirty, and but that's about it. Kyle's doing all the rest over there. All right, most of the work is done now, and we are gonna put the wheels on. Kyle is actually torquing them to spec. I'm just gonna admire this uh, wagon real quick before we do anything else. You just gotta love the fact that you can't see anything right now, but it is a manual transmission and these are pretty cool Dizinho seats my battery is dying so let me go and change it oh look at the monoblocks cool uh, back jack stands are off and let's see go down go down go down oh, it's gonna have to adjust oh, a little bit yeah i'm gonna remove the front ones one day when we have more sunlight we're gonna look deeper into that S210 wagon. That thing is like this close to be set uh, to being set up for the canyon. Seems like two more parts. I need some. Have my set of tires right there ready for it. Woo! These are cool. They look like semi slick. Yeah, yeah, those are really good. Potentas. Recently, actually, though. And uh, we'll take it to the canyon with the diesel, and uh, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna make a little review on that, right? So ideally we're gonna be looking for something like this, but these are super ultra rare wheels and these are 19s and you're gonna need some modification on the fenders to fit them on the good old diesel. Uh, I can't afford them yet, but uh, I will be looking for a set of wheels in the meantime until I can get something uh, that is outstanding. Let's say something that is the caliber of this but until then I already have some wheels that are gonna go on this car pretty pretty soon uh, like a midpoint wheels something to have while we are waiting for to stumble on all right so the car is already down and it's almost settled and well a lot better than before I gotta tell you that because we had this thing in monster truck mode since we had it, but now we have a lot less uh, gap between the wheels, and I mean between the tires and the fenders. I'm going to passenger. <laughs> this passenger. We're going to be respectful to the neighbors until we turn the corner. <laughs> Always got to go slow. Make it seem like you drive slow. Next step would be the midway wheels and more power coming in the next few episodes. If you are excited about more power in this car and how we're going to achieve it, I actually have the parts, they're already in the car. So in the next few episodes, we're going to be installing them. Hit the thumbs up if you like today's video. Um, subscribe for a lot more videos like this to come. And if you made it this far, hey, leave a comment as well, you know, say hi or something, uh, helps the channel grow. 
see you guys in the next video. Bye!